So uh, here's your pro tip. Uh, if you use auto gun, export the line that you make as an audio file and put that back into your song because auto gun takes a ton of CPU and you don't want to deal with that. So there you go. All right, now how do we change effects and knobs and sliders and whatnot over time? How do we do that? So it's really, really simple. Literally just go to whatever you want to change over time, right click it, create automation clip. Easy as that. Super simple, right? Now this build up is a little bit meh right now. So how do we make it better? Well, we probably want to add more build up, right? <laughs> so that arpeggio, we don't want it to sound like this the whole time. We want it to build, right? So one way we can do that is with this pluck knob that I already showed. Right? So we can create an automation clip for that, and then we don't have to turn the knob ourselves. It'll do it automatically. So you can hear how it's kind of building up, right? So uh, the way automation clips work, there's little nodes. That's this thing, and there's another one over here. In between two nodes is going to be a line. And you can change the curve of that line by left-clicking the dot in the middle and moving your mouse. Now, um, you can create a new node by right-clicking, and then you right-click an existing one to delete it. You can also change uh, the format of the line, so that changed it into a hold. You can experiment with that yourself. So, uh, there you go, that's that. I think uh, we can probably do some automation for this auto gun line as well. So if we go to that one to get our fruity love filter, automate a uh, cutoff knob, and I think that might sound pretty swell. So uh, yeah, there you go. Now you have a nice build up. Thanks for watching.